good afternoon. Today we're going to look at Gilbert's algorithm for working out the minimal state space realization of a multivariable transfer function. So if we can recall back to the lectures on this. The first thing we do is we work out some matrices associated with each of the poles in the transfer function. So we start off with the s plus 1 and what we do is we work out s plus 1 multiplied by gs evaluated at s is minus 1 and we can call this r1. So the first thing we do is to work out r1. So this is relatively straightforward. What we do is we cover up this one and put s as minus 1 here. So minus 1 and 4 is 3, 3 into 6 goes 2. So the first number we've got is a 2 there. Next one, we've got an s plus 1 here as well, so we kill this one up, put s as minus 1. Minus 1 and 2 is 1, 1 into 8 goes 8, so we put an 8 in there. Then onto this one, now there's no s plus 1 here, and therefore that term becomes 0. So we've got a zero in there. And finally, we've got, we have got an s plus one here, so we cover that one up, put s as minus one, so we get 10 over nine. So there's our first one done. Next one we can move on to is let's say the fourth. So we can now work out s plus four times gs evaluated at s is minus four. And this will give us r2. So we get R2, which will be another 2 by 2 matrix here. And so we go to here, put S as minus 4 in here. So minus 4 and 1 is minus 3. Minus 3 into 6 goes minus 2. We've got no 4s here, so therefore this one is going to be a 0. We have got a 4 here, though, so cut this one up. Minus 4 and 2 is minus 2. Minus 2 into 4 is minus 2. And we haven't got any s's plus 4s in here. So that one's going to be a 0. So we'll just remind ourselves, this was associated with s is minus 1. And this is s is minus 4. So we can now move on to, say, the 2. So we can work out s plus 4. 2 times gs evaluated at this gives r3. This is s is minus 2. So we've got no minus 2s here. Therefore, this is a 0. And we've got, we have got a minus 2 here. So if we cover this one up, minus 2 and 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 into 8 goes minus 8. We have a minus 2 here as well, R2, so cover that one up. So minus 2 and 4 is 2. 2 into 4 goes 2. And finally, we haven't got any s plus 2s here. Therefore, that is a 0. So we've now done the s plus 1. We've done the s plus 4. We've done the s plus 2. So the one remaining now is s plus 10. So now we're going to do in there and that is minus 10 and that's going to give us r4 so r4 now will be another 2 by 2 matrix this corresponds to s is minus 10. now fortunately we've got no 10s in there so that one is a zero and looking again we've got no 10s here so that's also a zero and we have no 10s here, there's also a 0. But we have got a 10 here. So we cover up the 10, but s is minus 10. So it's going to be minus 10 and 1 is minus 9, so it's going to be minus 10 over 9. So we've now gone from our multivariable transfer function to work out four matrices R1, R2, R3, R4. Next thing we've got to do is work out the rank of these matrices. So the rank is the size of this largest non-zero determinant. 
looking at this one now, this has got a two by two, so this is rank two. This is rank equals two. This one though hasn't got a two by two determinant, it's only got a one by one. This has got rank one. This one on the other hand has got that times that minus that times that. This is a two by two determinant, so it's got rank two. And finally, this one has only got rank one. If we like, we could say this has got rank two, this has got rank one, rank two, and rank one. So if we add up the ranks now, that's two, three, four, five, six. So it's got a six, six rank, which means that we can represent it with a uh, state space representation with a six by six state space. So if we Rub some of these out. We need to keep these in. Let's just remember this is R1, R2, R3, and R4. And in here now, we will try to put in our state space equations. So we're going to have six states because it's rank six. So it's going to be x1 dot, x2 dot, x3 dot, x4 dot, x5 dot, x6 dot. Be some matrix in here. It's got six things in. So there's our six by six matrix, and here we have x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, and x6. And then here we'll have a B. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our B, and that will be multiplied by U1, U2 in there. Right, so now if we go back to our rank expressions, this has got rank 2 here, so it's going to be 2 minus 1s. So we're going to put in a minus 1 and a minus 1 in there. Next one though, so we've got rank 1, so it's only 1 minus 4. These numbers now go on the main diagonal. Next one has got rank 2, so there's 2 minus 2s. And finally, the 10, only rank 1, minus 10. So there's our A matrix, relatively straightforward to get a hold of, and it's a diagonal matrix. We can then put in our y1 and y2 expression as well. This is going to be a 2 by 6. Multiply by x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. And the remaining task now is to find the numbers that go in the C matrix and the B matrix. Now, the first stage is we've got the minus ones, and there are two of those. So there's this little box here, which we're looking at, and that corresponds to this part here and this part here. So we know now that this 2 by 2 multiplied by that 2 by 2 has got to equal to this. So we can do that quite simply by putting this as a unit matrix. So unit matrix multiplied by this will give us this. So this will become 2, 8, 0, 10 over 9. So we know now that this matrix times that matrix gives us that matrix. The second one though is only 1 minus 4. So this is just going to be a 1 by 1 here, which is going to be that one there and this one here. So now what we've got is we have a matrix that looks like this. Um, 
multiply by one, it looks like that. So these two here, those two there, these two here, those two there. So this times this now has got to equal to this. So if you achieve that by putting, say, a one and a zero in there, and then minus two and a minus two in there. So multiply this matrix by that one, we would get this. So that's giving us minus two, minus two, and a one, zero. The next one is a two by two. This is the rank two one. So this one's gonna be a straightforward one. Again, we can adopt the same approach that we used here, the unit matrix. So we can put a unit matrix in there. And then that multiplied, that's gonna go into this two by two here to give us this two by two here. So a unit matrix times this to give us this. So that's obviously going to be naught minus eight two zero. So now the last one to do, which is a two, and you've got rank one in this. So it's going to be a, a two, which is a two there, multiply that one. So it's going to be multiplied by this one. So it's going to be this times this has got to equal this. So we could do that by putting a naught in there and a one in there, and a naught in there and a minus 10 of a 9 in there. Going by mistake. So if we put a naught 1 in here, and a naught 10 over 9 in there, then this now, are the, here's our original transfer function, and these now are our state space equations with a minimal realisation of this transfer function, and it's got six states in it. In order to do it, just to recap, we work out the different partial fraction matrices, R1 through to R4. We then work out the rank of the matrices. That tells us how many states we've got. And then we can then put those numbers of poles in the main diagonal. And then when we've done that, we make sure that the corresponding matrix down here times that one gives us the corresponding R over there. So, Hope you found that useful and uh, wait for the next lecture.